Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to trade using the smart money strategy. You know, this is the last video of the mentorship program and today I'll be teaching you guys all the concepts I've been teaching throughout this mentorship program. You know, I taught you guys market structure, supply and demand, liquidity and the entry types, that is the risk entry and the confirmation entry. There are other concepts that we use in, in trading smart money but these are the few most important concepts we use in building this trading idea so we'll be combining all these concepts in today's video so let's get down to the video right now if you are joining this channel for the first time consider subscribing to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified each time i drop this kind of video so let's dive into the video right now before we dive into how to trade using this strategy one thing you need to understand is how to do top down analysis you know top down analysis can actually save you from a lot of stress it can save you from trading from a low probability zones now what is top down analysis top down analysis is analyzing from the higher time frame to the medium time frame down to your lower time frame where you look for your entry confirmations that is what we call top down analysis now what are the importance of top down analysis when you understand how to analyze from the higher time frame down to your medium time frame and then to your lower time frame it will improve your accuracy it will make your trades to be on point your trade will be a lot more accurate and it will help you know why the market makes some movements it will make you understand why market is retracing why it's moving very quick why it's returning back to zones things like that it will make you understand them because you are analyzing from the higher time frame to the medium time frame to the lower time frame you understand all the movement of the market understand me and it keeps you in tune that is you have a good understanding of what is going on you understand 90 percent of what is going on in the market top down analysis plays an important role in this strategy you know it helps you know a high probability zone remember what i said on my facebook you know i post a lot of things there remember i told you guys that the higher the time frame the stronger the signal so when you move to your higher time frame to map out your zone it helps you know a high probability zones to trade from so this is why top down analysis is very important maybe some other time in the future i will make a separate video on top down analysis today i'm basically teaching you guys how to trade using the smart money strategy but you'll be analyzing from the higher time frame to the lower time frame now let's move into the chart this is euro canadian dollar price chart and we'll be using it to explain the smart money strategy so what can we see this is the weekly charts you can see it right here that this is the weekly chart and what can we see here on the weekly chart we can see that we are in a downtrend this is very clear we are starting from the weekly chart this is our higher time frame we are in a downtrend very clear and now we'll be moving down to our daily chart this is the one day chart we move down to our daily chart to see things more clearer so what can we see on the daily chart we are still in a downtrend in the daily chart this is we are talking about market structure now understanding market structure this is our daily chart and we can see that price is making series of lower highs and lower lows which tells you that we are in a clear downtrend so if you don't understand what i'm explaining about market structure you can go back to the first video of this mentorship program that was where i explained everything about market structure so we are in a downtrend and this is very clear what can we see this was a supply zone price came back to the zone respected the zone and it has moved to lower breaking another structure this is your daily charts and it took a lot of days to do this so when price broke structure what are we going to be looking for we start looking for our supply zones to trade from now what can we see we have a very nice supply zone here and you can see the candle is very very large it has a very large candle so measuring this zone right now this zone is about the zone is about 144 pips so it's very large and trading for this kind of zone <laughs> man it's too large i can't trade that kind of zone and what can we see here? we equally have another zone right here that is we have two points of interest so you can't trade them like this what you need to do is you have to go down to your medium time frame so we're going down to our four hours time frame right now so this is your four hours time frame and you can now refine your zone to make it tradable because trading with that kind of zone 144 pips is too large to trade from so we have this zone right here and this I'm measuring this particular zone what can we see this zone has only 55 pips so we've reduced the zone from 144 pips to 55 pips now we have another hidden zone right here when i talk about hidden zone people keep saying how do we identify a hidden zone so let me move deeper on hidden zone right now let me circle this so we don't 
miss it this is the hidden zone right here and we are on the four hours time frame now let's move to the one hour time frame so you understand why i call this a hidden zone this is the one hour time frame and zooming in right here what can you see you can see that we have a bullish candle before the bearish candle that move down and break the structure so this is why i always call it a hidden zone it is hidden on the higher time frame but when you come down to the lower time frame it is very clear this is equally another importance of understanding how to analyze from the higher time frame to the lower time frame so let's go back to our four hours time frame and continue okay this is our four hours time frame so this is our hidden zone we have two points of interest right now and we don't actually know the zone price we react from we have a break of structure right here we have our supply zones and we'll be expecting price to come back tap into our zone then we look for our entries sometimes people tell me that they have two zones and they don't actually know the zone to trade from i've said it several times wait for confirmation entry once price return back to your zone the only reason to take a trade from that zone is when you get a confirmation that price will actually react from that zone i hope you understand it. if you don't get any confirmation entry let it go unless you use the risk entry hope you understand what i'm saying so what can we see price is returning back to the zone and we can see we have something like a trend line right here this is liquidity that is building up there and we have this one this is not really clear but i will consider this as a liquidity pool this particular one right here retail traders they see this as their trend line and this is money resting right here and money is equally resting here right here if you don't understand what liquidity is all about you can go and check out the video on liquidity so this is retail traders they took the first trade from here price reacted come back the second time and you can see this is a trend line and they'll be expecting price to come back tap to the zone and move higher again those trading support and resistance they will see here as their resistance level what is their expectation the expectation is that price will come back tap to the zone and moves lower again so that is liquidity money is resting here money is resting here those already in a trade their stop loss is placed here and their stop loss is placed here i'm not talking about liquidity in this video go and check out the video on liquidity now we are expecting price to come back to our zone and we look for trading setup now let's press price forward and see what we have can see price has tapped into our zone price tapped into the first point of interest the first supply zone we have right here now that price is in our supply zone what will we do we move down to the lower time frame to look for the entry confirmation i talk about mind you those that are using risk entry they are already in a trade me i don't fancy using risk entry now let's go down to a 15 minutes time frame to see how we can actually get involved to see if this zone is going to hold or fail now if you remember what i talked about on the entry confirmation you understand it that when price is making series of higher highs and higher lows and when it taps into your zone what we need to see is a change of character when we get a change of character price breaking this low once price breaks this low we map out our zone we place our order right here waiting for price to come back tap us into the tree and move and this is basically the same thing we'll be looking for in this example we still look for the entry confirmation so what can we see we can see that price is still in an uptrend making higher high higher low higher high higher low and we have a higher high right here so what is our expectation our expectation is that price will break this low once price breaks the low we look for our supply zone now once price return back to our zone we place our sell order and wait for price to return tag us into a trade and moves to our direction so i'll be pressing price forward to see how we get involved in this trade Can see price is in a range no movement at all and we we'll still be waiting patiently to see how we get involved and right now we can see price has broke structure price broke this structure and here is the most recent low we'll be looking to trade from you can see price is not even slowing down okay now we are getting a pullback and we expect price to break this higher low you can see our zone has been violated and now we can look to trade from the other zone now we're going back to the four hours time frame to see this is the four hours time frame and price violated the first zone you can see price came with a very large momentum it blasts through the zone and this first zone is this first zone has been violated we'll be looking to trade from the second 
zone and you can see we already have a tap into the zone so we still go back to our lower time frame to look for the entry confirmation have you seen how looking for entry confirmation would have saved you from entering a bad trade those using the risk entry they have lost their money and they will still be waiting for another trade setup at the second zone so using the confirmation entry can really save you from losing money easily so let's go down to the 15 minutes time frame and look for entry in this second zone okay you can see in the lower time frame price has not even tapped into our zone but when you check the higher time frame you can see that price was already in our zone so let's press price forward and see how we get involved price is in our zone and this is the most recent low which will be expecting price to break before we get involved in this trade sort of let me zoom in more so you can see clearly okay now let's see if we can actually get involved price breaks higher uh what can we see okay we're getting another pullback let's see price has violated this low once more price has spiked above this zone but one thing you need to note is that i'm not giving up on this zone because when you go back to the four hours time frame let's go back to the four hours time frame and see what we have there here on the four hours time frame you can see that this is just a spike price spiked above the zone can see that as a liquidity grab so i'm not giving up on this zone because this zone was actually mapped out from a daily chart and it is a very high probability zone it might hold but i haven't gotten the confirmation entry that i need and i will still spend some time to see how price reacts to this zone so let's go back to the 15 minutes time frame and see if we can actually get entry because looking from the higher time frame you can see that that was just a spike above the zone so this is why i said understanding a top understanding top down analysis is very important so let's continue to press price forward you can see from here that this was a pullback we got a pullback before this break so there was a break of structure right here let's go down to the five minutes chart so you can see it clearly you know i say top down analysis can be very helpful so we're going down to the five minutes chart so you can see this very very clearly so what can you see here we make the high and this was a low this one right here it was a very clear low before we get this break of structure so that is another good low to consider now i'll be expecting price to break that low going back to the 15 minutes time frame i like using the 15 minutes time frame to look for entry because it gives me a stronger signal we'll be expecting price to break that low before we think of getting involved in the trade and price is approaching our low this is a break of structure right there now you map out your supply zone this is your lower time frame supply zone so i have to change the color so it will look a little bit different this is a lower time frame supply zone but it's a little bit large so i can refine it down to this particular one so now that i've refined it down to this one i can now place my cell order so i've placed my cell order and i'll be waiting for price to come back tag me into the trade and mind you this will be my first take profit this obvious low right here this low is very obvious so price might react from there that's my first take profit and i'll take some profits where was price get to this zone and my main target is this liquidity resting below this low it will, i know it will take a very long time to get to this zone but you know if you want to be a trader you need to have patience so let's continue let me zoom in a little more so you understand how to treat this better we have placed our sell order and we are waiting for price to return and you see now price has given us a more clearer break of structure right now and we'll be expecting price to come back up into the zone and we move to our direction and what can we see price is moving lower and now we're getting a pullback and price has tapped into our zone you can see we get a clearer break of structure right now and price came back tapped into our zone and now we are in a trade if you wasn't satisfied or you were still afraid to take this trade from this particular zone you can actually wait for price to give you another entry confirmation to trade that is how it works if you doesn't have confidence in taking the first entry confirmation you can wait for price to give you a second one if it doesn't give you a second one you relax and wait for another trading setup that is how trading works so you can actually wait for 
another confirmation before you enter your trade so let's press price forward you see price is now moving to our direction now and what can we see we have a break of structure we got a break of structure here. so if you missed the first entry you can actually wait for price to come back to this zone so you can enter your own trade so i will place in another sell order right here for those that didn't have the confidence to enter the first trade you can actually enter right here so let's see now you can clearly see that price failed to return back to the zone the first zone we mapped out and here we get another break of structure here is a break of structure and we have another zone right here we have a zone immediately after the break of structure so you can actually delete the first order and place another order at the most recent zone so let's see if price can actually tag us into this trade let's see we are now getting a pullback and now we are in a trade we've been tagged into the trade right here so we are in two different trade right now you know what's giving you the confidence to take this trade from this zone is because you mapped out this particular zone from a higher time frame for your daily time frame and this gives you the confidence to trade from this zone it tells you that this zone is a very strong zone and it will be hard for price to break through this zone now let's press price forward and see if we made the most out of this trade you can see price is now moving out of our zone and right now you can play move your stop order to break even to protect your capital for me the way i trade once i'm in this trade right now you can move your sl to your break even to protect your capital and what can we clearly see we got another break of structure and if you want to get involved in the trade this is a good zone where you can actually get involved in another trade but for me the way i trade i won't be taking a lot of trades from all these zones i will basically stick to the first zone once it hits my first take profit i take my profit and manage my trade down to my main targets so if you want to get involved in this trade again you can actually get involved from this particular zone right here so let's press price forward and see how it goes you can see price blast through this particular zone and if you took a trade from here you lost the trade but if you took trade from these two zones you are still in the trade and let's see what happens you lost this particular one and now you your break even was hit and you are out of your trade but trading from the first entry the first confirmation entry we got you can see that you are still in a trade and you're making the most out of the trade although we having a very deep pullback which might force some people to close their positions and leave the trade now we keep pressing price forward you know this is trading you have to have patience you don't have to rush things you can see we're getting a deeper pullback but after the pullback you see price starts to range we are in a little range right now price is in a range and no clear movement and most people be forced out of this trade because price is in a range price is in a range no clear direction now i'll be expecting price to break this lower low once price breaks this lower low i will look for a supply zone to get involved in another trade remember you are you are winning one of your trade the other one the break even was hit the third one you lost the trade that is you winning one and you've lost one and one is a break even trade so let's see if we can actually get another break and what can we see we get a clear break of structure right here now we got a break of structure we'll be looking to get involved we have a supply zone right here a very large zone this zone is very large and measuring this zone you can see this zone is about 26 pips the zone is very light so i can actually refine it down to this last candle to see if you can get involved in the trade and i'll place my sell order right here to see how price reacts from the zone use the same targets the first take profit remember this is just the first take profit our main target is sitting below this low this zone right here because we are expecting price to sweep this liquidity that is resting below these zones so Let's press price forward and see if we can actually get tagged into the trade. What okay, can we see? Price taps into the zone and now we are in another trade. We are in another trade. Let's see how it goes. What can you see right here? We are in this trade and price broke another structure. 
right here i'm just teaching you how to trade using how to trade using your supply zones i'm not saying you should go about trading like this it depends all these things i'm explaining depends on how you trade i'm a day trader i have my style of trading so you know the best way to trade is creating your system yourself creating your style of trade i don't trade this way there are people that trade this way but this is pure purely how to trade using the smart money strategy you wait for the break of structures you map out your supply zone and you wait for your entry so this is our lower time frame zone and this is basically the 15 minutes time frame where i look for my entry confirmation so we are in another trade right now and we are in a big profit you can actually move your stop loss to break even so you don't lose anything if price comes back to your zone you can see we don't have any clear movement right now price is in the range and what is our expectation the expectation is that if price breaks below this low i will look for another supply zone and see if i can actually get involved mind you we are very close to our first take profit so we are very close to that and let's see if we can actually get another entry before we hit our first take profit you see now price has hit our first take profit we've taken partials and can now manage our trade down to the main targets most times you might not get a clear setup like this but this is how you can actually manage your trade you see we get a break of structure we have a supply zone right here so we see if price can actually come and tag us into a trade we've placed our order let's see if price will come back to tag us into a trade and it once price tags us into a trade we target this liquidity resting below here so let's see how it goes what can you see price failed to return back to this zone and now we get another break of structure here and we have another zone resting right here so this is the most recent zone and i'll place my order right here waiting for price to come back tag me into the trade and move to my direction so what can we see price failed to return back to that particular zone and i might let price go right now to see what happens Okay, now we're getting a pullback you see price is moving lower right now we got a break of structure right here and we have a supply zone here so if i want to get involved in the trade that is another place i would like to get involved but price is very close to our take profit but we're still gonna make profits so this is the target right here this is our target and this particular trade is giving us one is to five fixed reward ratio so it's a good trade let's see how it goes okay we're in a trade right now price just tagged us into a trade right now price is moving you can move to break even remember here is your target and how many pips to our target see about three pips so what can you see from here you can see we took how many trade we took five trades using this strategy we won three of our trades we won this particular trade we won this one and we won this last trade remember we had a trade which hit our break even and we have one other trade that we lost so this is how we trade using smart money strategy and this strategy is the strategy i trade i enjoy trading this strategy because i've made a lot of money trading this particular strategy the strategy is simple to master if you master this strategy i'm telling you the truth you will enjoy trading you will i'm telling you the truth you will enjoy your trading and i hope you become a profitable trader because you becoming a profitable trader depends on you you can go back now and back test this strategy test it out if you are totally new to smart money strategy you can go back watch my other videos to know how to trade and i would like you to note one important thing in today's video note that top down analysis plays an important role in our trading business and using the confirmation entry can actually save you from taking wrong trades because if you were using the risk entry right here you would have lost the trade and if you actually use the risk entry at the second zone you will equally lose the trade price spiked below our zone before it started moving to our direction i hope you're getting what i'm saying and if you are actually using the 
risk entry you wouldn't have gotten involved in this three other trade and making a lot of profit you would have stick to your first entry but we that went to lower time frames to look for confirmation we won three of our trade lost one and one was a break even trade taking one good trade with this strategy will make you profitable at the long run that is the simple truth so but take this strategy learn how to trade using this strategy and if the strategy is too hard for you, you can look for other strategies it's not a must you trade using this strategy you can look for other strategies that works for you but for me this is a strategy i trade and that's why i'm sharing it for free so everybody can learn so thanks for watching this video this is actually the last video of this mentorship program so if you watched me from the beginning till this last video you, you've done well and i hope to see you at the top level so i want to say thanks for watching this video once more i'll be uploading other videos relating to smart money strategy i might divert to teach other strategies that i know but for now i will take a quick break that will last for some weeks or for few months i don't really know but what i know is i will take a break before i start uploading other videos so thanks once again remember this is still me solomon wisdom aka born to trade and if you are still watching this video up to now and you haven't subscribed to this channel i don't know what you're waiting for subscribe subscribe and i'm saying subscribe again so thanks very much for watching me and if you have interest in joining my telegram channel in that telegram channel i share trading setups every new week you can check the description box below i have the link right there and if you want to follow me on ig you want to see what i do there the link is right there so thank you very much for being part of this mentorship program